Okay, so today I'm going to tweak a whistle with blue tack to make it sound better. I've got three whistles here, um, a generation brass, an oak nickel, and a generation nickel that I've just been given. And as you can see, this, these two have got some blue tack on them. It's actually white, but and that's to smooth out the fipple. And I thought of this when I thought, okay, what's the difference between a cheap whistle and an expensive whistle? And one difference is that the... Um, the mouthpiece will have been filed to perfection, absolutely. So that might produce a better tone. So I thought, well, what happens if I do that to a regular uh, whistle? This one's brand new. Um, and since we've got these to compare it to, and we can do a before and after too, we can try and hear the difference. Um, so I thought rather than filing, I somehow felt like blue tack would be better because it's a kind of reversible. I know that sounds kind of crazy that I cared about that that much, but you know, this whistle I'd been playing every day for six months and I really didn't want to break it because I'd got attached to it. So I wanted to alter it in a way that was reversible instead of possibly wrecking it. So let's first of all start by, um, let's play a tune on, on these whistles. So I'm going to go um, this one, then the tweaked nickel, but it's not by generation, and then the untweaked nickel that is by generation. So you can kind of hear what the differences are. Let's play a tune. the nickel oak which has been tweaked so I think that this one's clear as a bell even more so than the generation brass this is the generation nickel completely out of the box Right, so that feels sounds to me definitely raspier and especially in the second octave so let me show you up close what I'm going to do with a tiny little piece of blue tack so what I want to do is to smooth out the fipple um, where you can see like it's not perfectly smooth at the moment and to do that I'm going to need to get the mouthpiece off right there we go got it off I needed to boil the kettle to do that um, so there we go and I've got my piece of blue tack so I'll try and show you up close and proper what I'm up to so that I can sort of see it as well so I'm going to flatten this piece of blue tack so it's sort of the same shape and width I guess as the fipple try and do that there we go hopefully oh, there we go and now I'm going to stick it in there yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at what I'm doing myself as well. So, and then I'm going to fold it over. So I'm going to need a little tool to do that. How about a matchstick? Yeah, just to sort of fold that over on the inside. So I'm basically coating the fipple with blue tack so that I can then shape it. I'm going to stick the matchstick inside as well so I can get that lying flat. Then I think I can get my little finger in. Depends on, depends on the size of your hand, but I can get my little finger into there to flatten it on the inside too. Great. So once I've got that nice and flat, we've essentially got like a little replacement for the fipple. Let me just check if I can still blow down it before I attach it. Mm, not sure, it's not so great, is it? So it probably needs to be even flatter. There we go. Whoa! Put that back on the whistle. Let's see how we are. So it's muted it quite a lot, which probably means that it's there's too much, there's too much tack going on. So I'm gonna take some of it away and try and sort of smooth it down and make it thinner. Okay, we're starting to get a bit of a better sound. I want to flatten a bit on the inside as well.
that's that's done and I think you can definitely hear the difference as I go along I could keep on smoothing it and tweaking it a little bit but yeah there we go